Hi people, this is Gio from Gio Round, from Gio's Real World and Gio from Around Table. And today it'll be comic book time. And look at this, this Inuit Lee, okay? I think this cover, this, this is beautiful, okay? Look at this, oh my god, work of art. And this is Mastro World War M. Peter David as the writer and German Pelati as the artist. Anyways, so this thing here is Mastro, the future hawk in the past, that there was a war and this and that, and it continued to continue. And the only thing I like about these, this kind of series is, you know that whoever's in there can easily get killed off, ripped apart, uh, become a superhero might become a villain, the villain becomes a superhero, because it does not conflict the present comic book. So it's like when the, the, when the, when the writer goes into these, these kind of storylines, it's like cat blanche. Like you could, the comic book, the, the writer goes, okay, you could do whatever you want to do because it doesn't involve the present time. If people change and everything, like now, like now you have uh, the X Men, the future past. So, you know, they don't change. So, so like, because they say, oh, yeah, because they got different, because they, whatever. So, the whole storyline, yeah, it's, it's Mastro in the future and he fights with Dr. Doom and he fights with Namor and all this kind of thing. I like it because of that reason alone, there's no crossovers. So there's no surprise of extra money to spend on, on, a, on, a, on a title that you, you don't ever buy. And all of a sudden you have to buy because it's a crossover to, to complete the story. And it, especially when you have to buy because it is a crossover. Sometimes it's a crossover, but it's not really a crossover. You flip through, it's like, who do I care what's happening to these people? So you don't buy, like I'll do, I won't buy it because it's not really a crossover. It's just a lame way of selling more titles. So... Personally, look, the artist, look, Peter David, he's, he's, as a writer, he's one of the best. I mean, he, like, I like his he is. Art-wise, he's very good, you know? And the story lies, I kind of like it. You know, I like where it's going. I like this Hawk, the way the way he is, like, he's the, the ultimate Hawk, kind of, because he's, he's intelligent, and he's still powerful. Certain story doesn't make sense for me. It's example, it's like, okay, let's put it this way. The Hawk, you know, he's powerful. Now you put the abomination against him, even Namer against him. You know you're gonna lose because your strength level is not even close. To, like Namer, especially Namer. Okay, you know you're gonna be conflicting against, against the Hawk. Okay, and like you know the old Hawk. Now this is the new Hawk. So you know he's not. He, he's he's worse than before. Get all the science technology of ways of destroying him. He sends, example, the Human Torch, the Android version, to. Destroy him. You be do. You know, you to get a hawk, you have to get something like personally, the vision. Just has to go into his body, grab his heart, rip it out, or solidify right when he went what because he's un, un, untangible, right? And then once he's inside the body, he solidifies the heart and boom, he dies. Or somebody so fast, or technology so fast, or something like Glamble. That you shoot him like a missile with liquid. It it coats him. And that liquid, what happened, is attracted to the sun. And it repels him straight to the sun or to space. Boom, it gets rid of it. You don't need a super villain, superhero, to a powerful degree to fight with him. That doesn't make sense because you know you're going to lose big time. Because like Hercules in, in there, he got demolished big time. And Hercules... I don't care who people say. Hercules has no chance against Hawk, Hawk. Because you know why? Because they, the, 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 Her, Hercules has to defeat, like Thor, has to kill the Hawk right away. Because the Hawk, the sooner you get the matter becomes, well, this guy is different. But anyways, like the, regular, the Hawk we know, the matter becomes, the, the harder it is to kill him after. So before, when you could have killed him just twisting his head, now you can't. Because he got more oh, oh, powerful. Now this hawk, of course, I think he's already at the extreme level because they never mentioned about the strength. They always say he's stronger than, me, than before. But the thing is, the hawk, the one who gets madder, he's unlimited strength. Is he really at its maximum where the hawk, the other hawk, the other hawk like the uh, the modern hawk, is the present hawk, he has a maximum strength and he's already there? Or, or it's because, the, you know, it's, they never explain 100% what do you mean by maximum strength? You know? So, for example, if Mastro, for example, the regular, regular present hawk, 
he he starts at, at, like they say him like seventy five tons and he and he goes up to hundred tons and or whatever and he goes higher and higher and higher. Now Mastro maybe he's one hundred fifty uh, tons example, maximum. Now does the other present hawk when he's from like seventy five or hundred tons he starts and he, and he reaches one hundred fifty does he stop there? Or can he still continue because he's getting more mad than mad? That he has he's unlimited because that means if that's true, that means he could beat Mastro uh, at strength wise. So we then do they never hundred percent explain that point of view. So that's 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 the one down. Maybe then explain the next one. So the whole thing is, it's good, but to me it's like come on, how lame are these? How stupid are these villains? Can I sense in a sense like, uh. Like I wouldn't put the thing against them, Thor against them, because and you if you gotta put them there, you have to go there. Especially like the example, like well, thing I think he has he, he's a good fighter and everything, but Hercules is better than him, and Hercules is stronger than than the thing. But like example, if you put the, uh, the Th Thor, you have to make him brainwash him, or to, or you have to make him into a warrior. Like look, you have to kill him. If you don't, you're dead. Point finale. Yeah, but I'm mighty Thor. No, you'll die. And that's what the, the, the that's what the thing is. There's there's so many like let's put my point of view. It shows that they want to extend it and extend it. So I want to see where it goes. You know, like I start I liked it from the beginning the, the storyline, which is probably what seventy eight years ago, and I always liked it where they're going at it and the first appearance of the hawk and everything. I go, ooh, wow, no. And there's so much villain, the villains or superheroes. Their powers are are not phenomenal, but they have the ex they have the the right power to kill the hawk, teleportion, teleporting, teleport him in space, teleport him into the multi multi uh, in, in the in the center of the of the earth, or no example if you can do that far or whatever you know like uh, people like 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 as fast as the Flash or whatever, grab him throw him in space, you know. There is um like an invisible woman. Put an air bubble around it, but then again, you have to be strong enough that when he's when he's when he's hitting and everything, are you strong enough to hold that force field around them? So that's it. So that's me being too realistic. But it's a good read. It all depends if you and the thing I like about it, as I said, no crossovers. So that's it. Jew out. I'm sorry to go seven minutes of your time. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, it's almost eight minutes. Okay, there you go, eight minutes. Anyway, so G, I'll take care. Until next time, bye, guys.